Hey guys, um, just kind of sitting here in my robe, a little cold and drinking some coffee, um, and preparing this video. I'm going to put it out tomorrow on December 1st. It's about a storm that's coming to America, but it's really a spiritual storm, a time to decide. So I'm going to kind of dive into it over this next month. I've got quite a bit of stuff to share, so I'll just... Today's the dreams. I've had more than one, but here it is. It was on 6 4 of 19, 2019. Dream about America. And here was a couple of scriptures that I got Revelations 18, 8 through 18, and all of 19. <laughs> I saw America from coast to coast on fire. The flames were over 100 feet tall. <clears throat> Then the Lord spoke and said it was a purifying fire to cleanse our minds of the sin we had let in. And so his spirit could be poured out across the land. The world would then see America as his light. As I looked at the fire, at the center, the flame was red hot, was red. The top was a brilliant yellow and the land engulfed in what at first I thought was white, then I looked again, it was a pure light. So so both, the pure light and the white. It will not be utter destruction, but a purging of the intoxicating spirit of self-will and pleasure, our, and pleasure, our desire for the earthly treasures, a new birth for his people. It started August 11th, through September 11th. That's what the Lord told me. And then I woke up and I was like, okay, what do I need to do? Kind of a little panicked at first. I was like, man, do I you know, need to warn people what's going on? <laughs> this was a progression, but <clears throat> so, and I said, well, thank God, thank God, at least it wasn't, you know, 9-11. And I was like, it was September 11th, but some significance maybe. I'm not sure yet. I'm just getting these dreams out there, guys. There's just, you know, comments. Um, got, a, got a blog page. Jesus is alive in America.com. You can blog with us. You can comment with us. You can email me directly. Jesus is alive at gmail.com. <laughs> Sorry. I'm starting to catch a cold. Actually, a really sore throat. <clears throat> Bad. <clears throat> um, so... I'm going to share this other one with you, but this first one, I want to share something with you. A couple weeks later, closer to um, August 11th, it was actually the week of August 11th, I had another dream, and in that dream, the Lord said that me and my wife are going to be first, go through this storm first. And I was like praying about it. I was like, okay, God, when is this coming? You know, kind of wanted to know the, the date. I got the dates. But I wanted to know the year or the time. He said it was next year, 2020. So I'm like, okay, God. So put that into context, however you want to, guys. It's out there. Um, and then by like the ninth or so, literally, the bottom kind of fell out of some things in me and my wife's life. So I'm about to not no gonna air dirty laundry or anything, no blame games or none of that kind of stuff. It's just some things that needed to get resolved and straightened out. And still are a few a couple major things right now that we're both facing. One is my health. And go to the go to um some of these have my other YouTubes, go to Broken and Contrite Spirit, go to, uh, watch that one, um, go to Through It All, I've Learned to Trust in Jesus, I'll kind of let you know where my heart is, but guys, I'm not the guy, cry, cry, fire everybody out, 
Because I got to get out too so I don't get burned too. But it's a purging, a purification, a sanctification, a royal priesthood, a peculiar people set aside. It's going to be time to decide. And guys, I got issues too, okay? So I'm praying about it. I'm like, God, why me? Pick somebody else. But this is going to be time to kind of, kind of can connotate it towards that, but plowing up the fallow ground of these idols, a lot of idols that have been plaguing America. And that's coming up, guys. Probably not, some of them probably not going to be warm, fuzzy feeling messages, but it's unto something. It's not. It's going to be a purging so that the world can see the true light. It's going to be time for God's people to rise and shine. You know, I put up one comment on there, but it was about some stuff. And anyhow, the, the, the just of it went to Peter or to Paul. And it was like, man, guys, I heard on there on Facebook, actually, it was one day he was Saul and the next day he was Paul. Don't count the days, you know, don't take it lightly. Um, but don't you think that dude had some baggage, some sin that was plaguing him? Guys, he murdered a bunch of people, honestly. Kind of a little bit, you know, think about trying to get even just past to the grace piece, how God's going to forgive him for that. Man, it, you know, so... But that's what he's doing. He wants to cleanse and purify his people. It's not destructive. Years ago, he told me, this is what he told me. He said, I want you to plow down the center. Okay? I've been in holiness for years. Was in Pentecostal for years. Was in charismatic churches, off and on, different churches, denominations. Um, so I'm not really picking on any one particular one at all, honestly. So that's dream one. Then dream two was, I'm going to try to make this under 20 minutes. <clears throat> Actually, maybe even less. Then dream two was shortly after this one on 6-4 of 2019. And in this dream, I was coming to an intersection. And it was storming really bad, guys. Like really, really bad. But you know how sometimes... I grew up in Minnesota, but some really, really cool rainstorms up there, guys, honestly. But, you know, it, you know, you've been in storms where it's like it's dark, but yet it's light, you know, because it was still daytime. So it's still, it's like a light, light grayish color, honestly. Um, you can tell it's still light, but yet you can tell it's still dark from the storms. And then with lightning all over and it's raining really hard and storming and trees were blowing. And I, was, I don't know if I was driving or walking. But it's coming to this intersection. <laughs> and when I got there, there was a stop sign. And it was spinning in the wind, just like a like a whirly bird. But you can still tell it was a stop sign. But on top of it was a white sign. <laughs> I didn't get the white sign for two days. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Then I, up above, there was a a red light. Sorry, guys, my throat's really, really bugging me. So I know it's just the enemy trying to keep me from getting this stuff out. Because there was a reason why it's to this date and everything. But so, and I don't know the full just of it. But so this, this there was a cable, you know, and you know how red lights are lights across and especially in country towns um it's just a cable and there's a light it was spinning spinning really fast but you could tell it's a red light <laughs> and i said lord i said why all these red lights you know and he said because my people won't stop what they're doing <laughs> so it's kind of like chronicle seven second chronicle seven fourteen you know, read that one too, guys. That's a great scripture. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, pray, turn from their wicked ways, then you'll hear from heaven and heal the land. So it was stop. It was a warning. And then here's the 
Here's the last one. It was on 11, 11, 2019. Here's a couple scriptures. Malachi 2, 5 through 12. All study on the oil and it is the energy that fuels us. You know, some say it was the Holy Ghost. I, I haven't got there yet, guys. I'm still working on that. It just seems like I'm getting kind of overloaded and downloaded with stuff from the Lord. So help me. I'm all ears. <clears throat> Dream last night. I was walking amongst the clouds. It was gray and stormy, lightning all around. Then I saw a lot of lightning out, but but had no fear it was out of ways about but had no fear about it hitting me <laughs> suddenly i was it was coming from me this morning the lord told me we are the storm lightning to be the light of the world and thunder as his voice One of the scriptures he gave me a while back ago, guys, a year ago, before we went on a, a missionary trip to Pennsylvania, some little podunk town, I was in prayer, and he just gave me this town, I had to go Google it, and it was a town, and it existed, and it was in Pennsylvania, and we had to go, and within three weeks, we were there and gone, we went there, but before we went, I was just going through my Bible, sorry, early in the morning. And I'm looking for another scripture, but then also this one just highlighted and jumped out in there. It was on the page. I'm almost like, well, it was. It became alive. <laughs> Psalms 29, 3. The voice of the Lord is as thunder and lightning over many waters. And if you look at one of my web pages, the I forget which one it is, but it's got the three crosses on it. Or one cross on the water and the lightning and the storm all around it. And he, but the Lord spoke to me. He said, we're his voice. And I'm like, man, that's pretty cool, you know. But that's your voice, God. It's real cool. But it, the correlation wasn't quite there yet, guys. I took it and ran with it. We were his voice on a trip to Pennsylvania. We had to drive. He told us to drive. And we ran into different people along the route. Different days, times, places. Just look at one of my videos, Road Trips with Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Probably should have brought some Kleenex. So, we're his voice. Then, throughout this period of time, too, he said, we're his voice. We're his choice to be his voice for the born and the unborn. <coughs> Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory. Or his choice to be his voice. It's a book that I've got out, guys. It's on Amazon. Just email me. You can get a copy of it. I'll give you a copy, whatever. Or get one that's on Amazon. I prefer you just buy one. It'll help a little bit. If you want to help, you know, just... I'm not the asking for funds, but it'll help support us a little bit. I'm just going to give it away anyhow, guys. It doesn't... But... Or his voice. So, and that lightning and that thunder. And then I read Revelations. That's Revelations 4. About the elders. And then there's other ones in Revelation. There's 38 times in, that the voice in the, is mentioned in, Re, in Revelation. I'll just study on that. There's more than one about... How, it were, how, how the saints, the martyrs, were 144 were his voice, the 24 elders. They were his voice, and there's many thunders and many waters. John, That's what John was seeing, the revelator. So, we're going to be the light of the world. We're going to be his voice. We are going to be that storm, guys. So... Another book I got out, this one was 2015, and I was like, you know, it's just, it's a timing thing, guys. I am going to keep this to 20 minutes, because I'm going to probably put out another one tomorrow, too. 
with this early in the morning. But it's called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. It's all about visions, and I had a bunch of them, guys. I'm not some weirdo, goofball, wackadoodle preacher, whatever. I'm just not. I'm just John Q. Public, but, you know, like all of us, just read Matthew 20, guys. That'll pretty much tell you all of it, where my heart is. But in this vision, in this book, in 2015, I saw this church. And in this church, there was a big funnel cloud coming down that went right into the center of the sanctuary. It was You could tell it was a tornado. It was a funnel cloud. Maybe a cyclone, but... More like a tornado to me. But right where it touched, it touched in the right in the center of the church. And then Jesus was on a cross spinning in the center. And he stepped off, walked out of the funnel cloud into the church where the people were. And he spoke and he said, and I got some scripture with it. I haven't looked it up yet, but get the book too and you'll see. But. It's full of scriptures to go with it, guys. I put a lot of scriptures with it, but with each vision. Most of them have about three or four scriptures with each vision. But he said, I'm giving my people the power to take the earth by storm. So that was 2015. So what I'm saying is all these things fit together, but it's not just me, guys. It's the body. Um. I'm just part of the body. If you're the knee, be the knee. If you're the hand, be the hand. If you're the, you know, everybody wants to be the head, but there's but one head and his name is Jesus. That's another one. Look that up on my YouTube. My name is Jesus. Everybody wants to try to be the head in charge and at large and in charge and, you know, apostles, prophets, teachers, whatever. A lot of people pick the apostles because they don't want anybody to tell them what to do. Honestly. Including God. And Jesus and the Holy Ghost and his word, but that's just, that's free. Back to Matthew 20, all the same guys. Stay at home mom, doorkeeper, or a senior pastor that's been saved 150 years with a million people in your church. You don't get some, you don't get some big purple chair that's got all this ornate wood on it that, every, that nobody else can sit in on top of the stage and the platform. In heaven. It ain't happening, guys. I'm sorry. That's part of this purging that's coming, and you'll hear about it later. But So, there's the storm, but it's for the body, guys. We're going to be the storm. And I got a real, some, some really good friends of ours at church, and his wife had a really cool vision and I'm going to get her to share it or get it from her um, and put that out there too but it's time for the body to rise and shine guys but then after this dream he took me to some natural things and he said I'm going to end with this because then I'm just going to do another one um because it's getting too long already. He said, it's going to be so dark. Gross darkness. And that's kind of what the land we're living in right now today, guys. I'd say 1980. I heard it since then, but it seems pretty dark now. Darker than it was, honestly. But, they won't see us, and we won't see them, but they'll hear our voice, and they'll see the light. That light would be him, guys, shining through us. And then he took me to something natural to show me this. He took me to 9-11. There was three stories. I'll make them quick. One guy, I think his name was John. He was a Marine. Could have it wrong, but true story. It's been out on the news and the internet for a long time, since 9-11. Lord told him to go to the towers, to just collapse, tore up, 
You know, you saw him, the rubble and the people everywhere. Kind of pandemonium, probably. Well, they let him in because he was a retired Marine and had the credential. They were just looking for anybody that would help. And while the first responders and all those people were pretty overwhelmed. A lot of people went and helped. But the Lord told them to just go out into the rubble and call for people. And search for people. So that's what he did. Well, all the rescuers were, I mean, there are probably hundreds, if not thousands, but there was nobody around him because it was just such a big, massive undertaking. He was by himself, walking along the top of the rubble, calling out to people. People got rescued that were, you know, 50, 75, 100 feet down because they heard his voice. Couldn't see him. He had a flashlight. I don't know if they saw the light, but they heard his voice. Dark. He's walking out there in the rubble. This is John, the United States Marine Corps. Just kept walking around, hollering that out. People heard his voice. They were rescued by it. He went and got the emergency workers and they had to dig them out. And, you know, it became a whole operation just to get those few people out. I don't know how many got rescued. You know, another guy, he was in the towers. An older white guy, a business executive. And there was another black business executive that was trapped in there. Well, this guy, it, you know, the, it blew up, of course, the towers. And he had a way out, but it was starting to fill with smoke real fast and fire, and he could barely see and barely breathe. And he just was one of the more blessed people that was closer to the staircase. And he knew where to go. But he said, no, I'm going to stay and find people. Started calling out. Well, this... This guy on the other side of the wall, this black guy on the other side of the wall, heard him. Black business executive on the other side of the wall. They had actually tear down the sheetrock wall to get to get this guy out. They got out just as the tower collapsed. But he couldn't see him. But he could hear his voice. There was a wall there. There was fire, smoke. But he could hear his voice. Then one, one guy, I don't know if he was a Navy guy or a Marine guy. or He was in the armed forces. And the Pentagon just blew up. And he grabbed somebody's flashlight and he ran in the building to rescue people. Because that's what he was trained to do. Or who he was. And he started calling out for people and shining the light and looking for people. And they didn't hear him, but some people heard the heard his voice and some people saw the light. So that's what this fire is going to be about, guys. Is that the world is going to see who America really is. And the purging and the cleansing, and it's coming up, guys, what I'm going to bring out in, in the next few days, next week, over this next month. All this idol worship that's in America. And most of it's of the self. It starts with the self, but it's just a bunch of junk. It's going to purge us from it because it's not going to matter. So anyhow, that's some of the storms that are coming be more to it. Is there a lot to it? Please comment. Please share. Please let me know if you think something's in error. And even if it is, I want to know about it. I'm definitely not perfect. I'm not even close. With a couple of issues that I'm facing, I don't even want to be doing this, guys. But it's like, man, God. I said, pick somebody else, but here I am. So, we love you. Um, tune in. Uh, just Google us. Jesus is Alive in America. You can find us. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, comment. Say stuff. You share these YouTubes. Just help us get this word out. Two books, Jesus is Alive. Or Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America on Amazon. Or Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory on Amazon, or just email us directly at Jesus is alive in America at gmail.com. If you got can't afford the book or whatever, need me to send you a copy. I also got it on email, so I can just send you a free copy. Just shoot you an email and you can have the whole copy um, free of charge on Kindle. But anyhow, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Real soon. Over the next over the next week, I'm gonna put out as many videos as I possibly can.